Pseudo sense, it would be like Soto Makakomi, outer winding throw. Okay, and that's a big booming throw that we throw people for your pong with in judo. But you can also use it on the ground in, in ground fighting. They was it here. So watch, Derek's going to do the do the Soto Makakomi. Comes right into Urigatami. Jake's got a nice, nice wrestler's ride going here. Okay, now what Derek's going to do with his right hand, he's going to grab Jake's right wrist. Let me just grab this. Okay, sit up so you can see. Now look up, see how he's grabbed the wrist? And he's going to suck that wrist really tight to his body. Okay, just like, again, it's, Soto Makakomi is very much like this, the throw. Okay, so now he's going to be down in a real situation. Now he's got Jake's arm really tight sucked to him. Now, what he's going to do, he's going to turn his head this way to his left and his butt out a little bit to the right. See that? So he's adjusted himself very quickly so he can roll Jake better. Now, what you're probably not going to see, what I'm going to show you in a second here, is when Derek's going to roll Jake over, and with his left leg, he, when he rolls Jake over, he's just going to kick his leg up just like he's kicking it up like he's going to do a throttle. Okay? And he's going to never let go of Jake's wrist. And you'll see he rolls Jake right over into a pin we call uragatami, a rear throw, a rear hold, okay? Rear pin, because you're pinning him from the back side. So watch, he's going to roll him right over, boom, right over, and he sits right up. There you go. See, in a really nice position here, look at what he's doing. He's never let go of this wrist. He's leaning really hard. He's putting a lot of pressure on Jake's ribs, which is not pleasant. It's just a little cool. yeah, there you go. And he's turned into him this direction here. Now look what he's done with his left hand. Can everybody see this? Everybody come around here. He's grabbing with his left hand. He's just grabbing the, the seat of the pants there. Like that. You can grab the belt, whatever. What you really don't want to do right now is grab between the legs. You can do that for now, but it's not as strong as if you finish with this. Okay, if I had to do it, I would. But right now, he's, and he's turned in. And the more he turns into Jake, the more pressure it's putting on Jake's ribs. And Jake, oh, this really stinks. I hate this. Okay? And you, may, you can actually make people give up. Big, big heavyweights, you'll see guys do this on purpose because they want to kind of use all their weight and girth to put on people. Okay? Let's look at that again more full speed. So Derek's down. He's ready to go. Jake starts the ride. He starts the... Peterson rolled down, comes right over and rides him. Now, now look at Derek's legs. He wants a good base. He wants to be able to move around as he needs to. So he might have his feet like in it, like you would in case of Katami. He might have his foot up. You know, he might be moving any way he needs to do to keep that pin going. Now, in the judo rules, in the like the freestyle judo rules, we hold them for 20 seconds and you get four points. Then you go for your submission technique. Or kids will hold 25 seconds to get the pawn. And in IJF rules, he'll hold for 20 seconds to get the pawn. So in any event, you're going to have to hold this about 20 seconds, okay? So you want to be able to park him there for at least 20 seconds where he can't move, or at least not move that very well. And if he does move, Derek will move around with him. This time, can he move around with him? So watch. Derek's going to do the, do the Soto Makakomi. Comes right into Urigatami. And as Jake moves to it, Derek just keeps moving as he needs to. It's a very fluid thing. You know, like in pro wrestling, they need to put their, put their shoulders on the mat. One, two, three. We don't do that. Just hold the guy where he can't get up. Okay? And he's doing a good job. That is Urigatami. One more time, full speed. And I'm going to have everybody do it. Okay? Okay. And you should be good at both sides just today because you're learning it. We're just going to work on one side. See, I roll right over. Soto Makakomi to Urigatami. Right? Yeah, question? You have them do it so they can see from the back side. From the back, yeah, so turn your head back, guys. Now watch from the back side. Watch the back side. Now watch how he turns in and watch how he kicks that left leg up when he does this on Jake. He really, he sold it there, didn't he? He showed you how. That's exactly how they're doing it. He does this stuff. All right. I'll do it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to add real quick? Um, so it's really important 
to keep that, that arm in tight. If there's any space in there, the, the turn isn't going to work, and then he's just going to end up pinning me. So when he's <coughs> grabbing me, if, I, if this is loose, when I turn like this, I just get pinned, right? And we don't want that. We want to be on top. We want to be the ones pinning. So once you grab this, really hug it in tight, okay? And then the second step is just shift just a little, a little bit so that you're on an angle. And then from there, keep it nice and tight, roll, and use the left, and then right over into the pit, okay? Grab their pants, okay? And then just keep a hold of them. And that way, if he starts trying to turn in, okay, you can still be mobile with it, okay? We good? And we often call it in our club the Peterson Roll, named after the Olympic champion named Peterson, who used this as, as a wrestler, and he was an Olympic champion. So we call it Peterson Roll in honor of him, but it's really Soto Makakomi on the mat, really what it is.